being a teacher, all right, I want to show you more than the bells and whistles. I want to show you how I actually teach with this thing. Because I use it every day in my own classroom. So how many of you, for example, use PowerPoint? Good portion of you, right? All right. Um, let me see. Pull a PowerPoint up here. I'll show you some of the features of the Mimeo. Very similar to the smart board, as you'll see. Um, you okay? We were just talking about the causes of the um, Civil War with the uh, Civil War timeline activity. So let's suppose that I'm teaching, and here is my PowerPoint. Doing it the old-fashioned way. Or actually, maybe in this case, I'm having the kids go over, and I put the PowerPoint up to help them. If I'm in interactive mode, like I am, I'm able to manipulate anything just like as it was the mouse. So all I do is I touch the board, and my slides come out. But let's suppose I want to add something to it. Let's suppose I missed something or the student missed something. All I have to do is, everybody hear that shutter? What I've done is I've frozen the screen, and it gives me the ability now to write on it. I can also select the smart board, highlight things. Uh, if I want to make it better, I can do that. I can change the transparency. I can erase things. I can underline things. You get the idea. When I'm done, I click the button again, and I'm back into my PowerPoint, and I'm teaching away. Okay. The nice thing about the Mimeo, unlike the smart board and some of the other competition, is that it automatically saves everything that I've just done. So at the end of class, if I want to go back and review, there it is with all my markups. I didn't have to save anything. I didn't have to stop and do anything. Nothing. You saved it all by itself. And what if you go back for another 